Hello, welcome back our dear students and welcome to session two. The session is devoted to life issues. Very glad to welcome my dear student, Maison. How are you doing, Maison? I'm doing great. Great, great. So, um, Maison, uh, I would like you to have a look at the pair of words on top of the word attitudes. Could you read it? Right, wrong. Right, wrong. Is there any link between right, wrong and attitudes? Yes, I guess uh, my attitude is maybe my opinion uh, about others, about someone or something. Uh, it's also the way I behave, Okay. Uh, my behavior. And I think, yes, we can have right attitudes, right behavior or wrong behavior, right. wrong attitudes. So the word attitudes brings to your mind behavior, ways of thinking, opinion. Uh, when it's related to right, wrong, because when my it's attitudes related to can right be and my, wrong. my okay. body attitude. But I see. right, wrong, it means my behavior, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, you are guessing right, you are on the right way and not on the wrong way, <laughs> and I am going to give you further help. So uh, you'll be exposed to a few words or pair of words, just the initial letters of the words. Just by focusing on the initial letters, I would like you to guess what the full word is or what the full pair of words are. So have a look at the first pair, please, Baysun. Uh, well, I think uh, this is easy or okay. it's uh, easy. Uh, the word is ethical. Ethical. Yes, already ethical is um, related to beliefs of what is morally wrong and right. So That's right. This That's is what right. you saw before. So ethical and the antonym is unethical. Ethical and unethical. Unethical. Okay. Yes. You think that they collocate well with the word of course, attitudes? So we can behave or act morally or uh, ethically or unethically. I see. I feel that you are having a very good start. Thank you, sir. Let's continue. What about this pair? If you find this pair, then you deserve a present from me. Okay. What type of present? <laughs> <laughs> find the pair first. Okay. Don't uh, be greedy and guess. curious. Well, they look a bit tough. <laughs> I can't get uh, this pair. Uh, can you allow me some time to no think problem. about them? No problem. But uh, I want to ask you a question, sir. Please, Please do. Uh, is it a new word? Is there new words? Or um, since you are an art student, I don't think it is a new word for you. You saw it last year in a fairy tale in the third form arts program. Um, no problem. If you can't find it, we can skip it. No, we don't skip it. Just allow me some time okay, to no think problem. about it. Okay, no problem. You cling to the present. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next. Are uh, there other words? Okay, we'll get back to it later. Yes. Uh, the other words are my present to you because they are the easiest. <laughs> ah, yes, the noun uh, from the noun. ethical, ethic or so ethics. It's ethic. Generally, Usually we say it's ethics. In plural, that's right. Yes. So you think it's ethic. And we are left with this pair of words. This is also easy. So ethical or moral, these are... Uh, Almost. They Near are equivalent. Synonyms. Near equivalent. Uh, moral, ethical, immoral, and ethical. Moral behavior is yes. So I think it's moral, immoral, and moral, yes. immoral in the same way as we say ethical, unethical. unethical Not yes. the same negative prefix, Mason, is it? No. So no. unethical with you. You and you and. And the other one is im. I am. Why is it? Should it be I am? Because it starts with an M. Oh, I start with an M. Most Thank you. Most adjectives that start with an M yeah. are, uh, have the prefix or the negative prefix. Could you think about others, other initial letters that might require M as a negative prefix? Uh, immature. So again, it's M. Yes. Could you think about another initial letter? Another one. Um, can't remember now. You can't remember now. I can't remember. Okay. For example, balance and... Uh, and balance. Imbalance. Imbalance. Because it sorry. With yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's <laughs> all right. Yes. You got your present anyway. No, <laughs> I, I, I should. I should find these. Oh, you didn't find them. So and moral, nice. immoral. Is that all? Uh, yes. So ethical. Um, ethical. Unethical. Well done. One final chance before yes, the words please, uh, pop up on the screen. Uh, can you give me uh, a hint, watch, a, a clue? Hint or how? Can you help me? Um, I'm going to do that because it's a holy month and because you are a serious student. Thank you. Um, as far as the first word is concerned, I help you. It's not virtual. Of course it's not. <laughs> it has nothing to do with attitudes. Yeah. 
Um, um, but because you said it's a way that we have already seen before. So. But the T is there. So there is a T after the R. And it's not virtual. Uh, virtue? Virtue, let me see. If, if, you, if you think it's virtue, can you think about its opposite that starts with VI? Vice. Vice. Close your eyes for a second, okay, my son. I do. Hope you'll find a good surprise waiting for you. Can I open? Uh, just a second, you are so curious. I want to open my eyes, please. You want to see whether you got Can your you present or not? Three, two, one, look at the screen. Well I done. I did it. Very did proud it. of you. So Don't forget virtue, the present next time. Uh, okay, any present, any present you like. Uh, it shouldn't be food because it's Ramadan, you of know, course. it's the fasting month. Um, I'll think a about the present. Sorry, a plus. A plus. A plus. plus, plus one, plus two. Plus. I know all students look for extra marks. You deserve it anyway. Um, you will get the plus if you manage to give me the adjective forms of these two words. So, um, I think we, we know, uh, I know them. Let's say I have to, rem to remember them. Uh, is it virtuous? Virtuous? Yes, yes, good start. Yeah, but I can get uh, the You got one. the extra half a mark. Half? Only half? half? A mark. <laughs> if you manage to find the adjective of vice, you get the other half. I think half. it's the same, so virtuous, and we should have the same uh, uh, suffix. Uh, see, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, so how should you pronounce the word? So you, you give a try and I will tell you. Vicious, vicious. 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 vicious, not bad oh. at all. Okay. I'm going to be generous Thank today. Thank you, sir. So you got so your bonus. Vicious. Exactly. And I think there will be no more surprises because the other words are, as you said, evident. So ethic or ethics as a noun. And moral um. and immoral are the last, well, pair of antonyms. So well done. I am really uh, proud of your performance. And I find that you, a good sir. stimulus for uh, Maison is this bonus. Um, so for every uh, correct, for each correct answer, we get a plus. Well, in this case, I will run out of marks. I will run out. I will be broke in terms of marks. We will see anyway. Um, I will satisfy you. You know, I always do. Uh, Maison, um, speaking about ethical and unethical uh, practices. Yes. Do you come across a lot of ethical and unethical practices in our everyday life? Uh, we have both ethical and unethical okay. practices. So, uh, Could you name any of these practices? Ethical or unethical practices? Uh, let's begin with an ethical practice, one single ethical practice. Cheating. Cheating. Lying. Cheating at exams? Uh, everywhere. You did cheating. that? You did that? I've never, I've You've never, never cheated at exams. No, I never cheated. Okay. I cheated but, once but, but at a geography test. And I got the lowest mark, so that taught me a lesson. You never did cheat. It, sir. Never cheat. I never cheated, honestly. <laughs> but uh, pupils cheat. That's the truth. So, so that's unethical. That. That's unethical. That's unethical. Of okay. course, uh, there's a lot of lying. We, we also. Lying. Lying. Um, you lie. Not uh, all people. Do we say we lie on someone or to someone? We lie. On someone or to someone? We lie to someone. We lie to someone. We, we shouldn't someone. actually. We, we shouldn't, shouldn't lie to course, people. We shouldn't people be. Lie. People who lie, we call them? Liars. Liars. Could you spell it, please? L-I-A-R. OK, well done. Well done. Uh, yes, you have got one more uh, practice yes, in uh, mind? Some people are not uh, sincere. They're not honest. But they are also good people. So of course, have, of course. Uh, both attitudes. That's life. It's, it's a blend of virtues and vices, as we said a few minutes ago. Yes. Uh, so, Maysun, I am exposing you to four uh, different attitudes or practices. You can see them in the middle part of the screen. And on each side of the screen, you can see some visuals or pictures. All that you have to do is match each attitude with the corresponding picture or pictures. And then I have a bon bonus uh, for, for the correct answers. We'll discuss this later. We'll discuss this okay. later because your, your friends are watching us. And if I agree on giving you a bonus on each or for each correct answer, then there will be some sort of riots now. Everybody would be 
demanding bonuses. As so they let's are wait and giving see. correct answers. I, no, I okay. will help, don't worry. Okay, I sorry. So I have to match uh, each uh, attitude, attitude with, with the, the corresponding, corresponding picture, picture or pictures. Would you, would you like to start by reading the attitude? And uh, uh, then I should say whether it is ethical or unethical. That's right. That is mentioned That's right. in the yeah. instruction. Yeah. Yes, uh, can I start? Please do. Okay, so the first one is uh, dropping litter in the street. I think it's a clear, it's B, we see a lot of trash. Uh, Unfortunately, it's a very common image yes, in our society. Yes, yes, and this is, of course, an ethical, unethical. unethical. Okay. Uh, we should not pollute our environment, we should That's not throw right. rubbish everywhere, right. so it should be in plastic bags and garbage cans, um, but not everywhere. You are totally right, but on the other hand, governments have to uh, provide uh, citizens with enough trash cans so that they can... But still, if you don't want to throw, you cannot throw. So That's you right. can put your trash in a plastic bag and... Um, Take it it's with you all related to the mindset. Yes, yes. The so mindset. still, uh, it's unethical. We shouldn't do it. Whatever, whether we have garbage cans or not, we should uh, keep our trash in our car or, or just uh, we hold them till Good we citizen. reach our home and then we put them in the appropriate Hats place. Off. Thank you, sir. So it's unethical. Okay. We should, uh, of course, uh, save our planet and protect it from pollution. Okay, number two. Uh, next is paying fares on public transport. That's, of course, our ethical. A good citizen uh, pays fares, pays taxes, and this is a duty. Of course. Okay? It goes so, with yeah. which visual? Uh, I think A, it's with clear a, we have yes. means of transport and we uh, have the, the ticket. The passenger is showing, showing the his ticket. her ticket. Yes, so uh, the set of pictures. Okay, um, some people do not pay fares and they consider this a sign of bravery, whereas it is no, of course it's a not. sign it's of like lack stealing. of citizenship. It's it is actually like stealing. stealing, yes. Uh, well, uh, three is, I guess, or I think, mm, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure. It's driving without a license. So we see Do you have your license? D. No, not, not yet, yet. But after the back exam. Yes, good uh, luck on your back exam and on your driving you. license. So I can see here uh, a policeman or uh, we have a car, we have a uh, driving license. That's right. And it is a crime, by the way. It's it a is crime, dangerous. it's an offense. Yeah, and I a, think there is, is a penalty. So the court uh, may disqualify. Do you know any of your classmates who drive without Some a license? Some of them do. Some it's of them it's do. Risky, it's My son used to do it before he got his uh, driving license, but I used to ask him not to do it. And I used to hide the car key. It's risky. It's it risky. is risky. They, he they is risking, risking their his lives and other people's lives. That's right the life of uh, others. So it's, of course, unethical. And? and the last one is cheating at exams. We already said that this is unethical. It's immoral. Yeah, it's that's unfair right. towards uh, Yeah, I told you I did it once pupils. and I regret it. I will regret it for the rest of my but life. But just, sir, I want to say that pupils now use technology Oh, to I cheat. should have chosen another visual. Yes. A more updated one. Yes, they use their smartphones cheating. to come into easy yeah, to Yeah, plenty of uh, ways. Cheat. I feel outdated. So thank you for drawing my attention to that. Next so time I will replace the visual by a more updated one. Uh, let's check your answers, although I do not really doubt that you made any mistakes. I'm also confident. I know, I know. You are growing more and more confident and this fills me with happiness. So as you can see, paying fares on public transport goes with um, those three visuals and it's ethical, as you said. The green color tells you that it's moral or ethical. Uh, Dropping litter in the street. Uh, very common, unfortunately, seen, and it is unethical. So uh, the green color it means like a green light. You exactly, can move on, you can, can move go. on. Clever and girl. unethical, it's like red light traffic. This tells me Stop. that you will get your driving license first time, not like me, How? sixth time. I hope so. Sixth time it took me. Really? Because mm. I got it at an older age. So get it soon. The sooner, the better. Hopefully. Um, See cheating at exams and you said it's unethical and you commented on those two techniques. You said they are laughable ones. They, they are still use them, but they, they use, use uh, Please more update me so that students do not trick me. Okay, I will so not tell them you you do not allow us <laughs> to have our mobile phones during exams. I try so. as much as possible to do it. And even the law, so yeah, yeah you, you can actually tell, tell your friends not to do it. Yeah, so please don't cheat. Just rely on yourself and the one you are going to copy from uh, his uh, test is not better than you. So if he managed to answer correctly, it means you can do and you can even do better. So just rely on yourself, work hard and you'll have excellent results. So bear in mind, my son's piece of advice. No one is better than you. <laughs> <laughs> so D, driving without a license and you did say it is unethical. So it's what you did is, is perfect. No surprises. Thank God. Um,
still talking about ethics and moral values or attitudes. Yes. Um, do you think that this issue of moral values and ethics is a recent one or is an old one? Has it existed for a long time or is it a recent phenomenon? No, I think uh, values and attitudes are universal and are timeless. Okay. Uh, they enable us to know when to draw the lines. Uh, they also highlight to us the lines we should never cross. So they are timeless, okay? So uh, I think that if uh, no one uh, has learned, uh, if a person has never learned uh, about moral values, how can he or she uh, decide between what Definitely. is good and what is uh, bad, what is uh, wrong and what is uh, right? So they are universal, they are global, and they are timeless. We need well them done. Uh, all the time. I cannot agree more with what you are saying. Um, if I tell you this word, and ask you what it brings to your mind. The bard. Shakespeare. Shakespeare, the bard. The bard. The word bard starts with capital B or small b? Capital B. Capital B. So there's only one bard, capital B, Shakespeare. The because I think in Old English, the bard means the poet. The That's general right. meaning of the word is the poet. And with capital B, just to, 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 to say it's Shakespeare, it's not any poet, That's it's not right. anyone. So. Congratulations on your good memory. We Thank spoke about Shakespeare in the first unit of this year and you still remember it. Your memory is still fresh. You have got an elephant's memory at Touchwood. Um, Shakespeare, four or five centuries ago, spoke about those attitudes, preached them, recommended them in many of his books and masterpieces. Um, you can see on the screen some selections or quotations taken from Shakespeare's books. I would like you just to read each of these quotations and try to match it with the attitude on the right side of the board that it corresponds with or that it recommends or preaches. Okay. Uh, do not panic, you will come across some old English words. Um, I'm sure you can rely on your um, strategies to understand them and, and decode the fail, message. I will ask uh, Of course, help. please do. So, shall I start? Please do. Okay, the first one, I do love, my country is good, with respect, more tender, more holy and more profound. Okay. Uh, I think uh, this is easy because it already states, I do love my countries. So it's D, loving one's country. Loving one's country, it looks correct, we'll check so later, let's wait and see. Up I cannot to tell here, you now. I can't <laughs> see any difficult word. So far, so good. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, next one. Please. Um, cowards die many times before their deaths. The variant never taste of death but once. Uh, just before you answer, I would like to help you mm -hmm. by asking you to find out a pair of antonyms in this statement. Uh, well, there's a new word, a word that I don't know, uh, but maybe the first word I know, it may help me. So cowards, these cowards. are people who are uh, fearful. Fearful uh, who, people, yes. yes. they cannot act, generally they, yes. they, they are afraid of uh, acting or... Uh, and maybe um, valiant is the opposite or Excellent. the antonym. Well and done. it means that someone is brave, brave courageous. Person. A valiant person is a brave person, a courageous person. Okay, so I guess it, it may go with... Um, where? Being brave and fearless, see? Being brave and fearless with C. So brave, uh, valiant, brave, courageous. Yes, yes. Yes, and fearless. So Shakespeare is praising bravery here. What about number three? We are gentlemen that neither in our hearts nor outward eyes envy the great nor shall the low despise. The language is becoming uh, no more No problem, difficult but now. still you can cope with it. Do so not worry. Uh, yes, uh, there is a way that I, uh, it may help me, I think, envy. Envy. So being envious, being jealous. Jealous. Are you? So we should not. No, of course not. <laughs> Of course not. If you ask anyone if you are jealous, yeah, no one is going no. to say yes, I am. That's so, right. uh, of course not. So, I think envy the great, uh, nor shall the low despise looking down. Yeah, if you despise someone, a person, you do not respect him, you look yes, down you on look him. look down on him. So, that uh, would may help me. And that I think would give this you should some be, clues, of course, uh, respecting all people and not being jealous. So, you think it goes with G, G. respecting all people and not being jealous of them. Let's wait and see. Okay. Four. Four. Love all, trust to few, do wrong to none, be noble for thine enemy rather in power than use. 
that word thine uh, is a word thine that enemy. you're not used thine to. Thine enemy. Ah, your. Your, excellent. Ah, that's old English. That's old and English. And can I use the uh, same word no, now when I write now. in no, my no, writings? No, 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 it's old English. It's old English, so it's no longer used. No. Uh, still, the first part uh, is easy. Okay, uh, that could help you. It, yes, it's it's uh, guiding because love all, so you should love uh, everybody. everybody. But you don't trust everybody, exactly. trust a few. So I think it's A, uh, loving people and being prudent. Okay, okay, looks correct. Let's wait and see. Are you going five. to tell me now? No, 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 later. Okay. Some suspense. Uh, be to yourself as you would to your friend. Uh, oh yes, I'm going to, write, to, to read the next one. Um, it's clear, it's your friend. So yeah, it's, it's taking concise. care of friendship. Okay, be. do you have a lot of friends? I guess, uh, but not all of them are best friends. Okay, okay. So you said taking care of uh, B, of taking friendship. care of friendship. Okay, six. Uh, the silence often of pure innocence persuades when speaking fails. We have something uh, similar in our language. In we Arabic. do, we do have something similar, that's right. Uh, this is even even in the attitude part, I think you can find something similar to our it's mother tongue. Yes, it's easy. Acting according to the proverb, speech is silver, silence is gold. That's right. That's right. And uh, next one. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night, the day, thou canst not be... Uh, Canst not then be false to any man. Thou canst tough. not. A, no, big. not give up. New words. Hey, soon you are not the kind of student who gives uh, up that fast. I try, but there are many thou, words. Thou, thou canst not. Canst line, not. line. It's no, not. I'm talking about the next line. Ah. Thou uh, canst not. The last part is easy. Be false. Uh, yeah, that's anyway. why I focus on the last part. I meant to help you, my son. Yes, but uh, yes. the language is a bit tough. We're not okay. used to it. So <laughs> be false to any man means you should, you should be truthful. Exactly. Not I told you you would be able to understand yourself. So you should look for it. something uh, which we have to be it has to do truthful. With truthfulness, Truthful, yes. not false to any man. Uh, which one? We have already dealt with the first one, the second one, the third one. Already I have chosen it. Uh, I'm remaining. I just left. I'm just left with uh, two alternatives. E and F. Uh, I think F. Being frank and sincere. Being frank and sincere. Being truthful. Being candid. Sincere is already sincere. Uh, being truthful. It helps you. Honest as well. Okay. Uh, we'll check later, but let's finish with number eight. Yes, and uh, with, five, with number eight, I don't have to guess. Already okay. I'm left with only one okay. alternative. Could you so just read it, please? Yes, of course. Uh, the mind I sway by and the heart I bear shall never sack with doubt nor shake with shake fear. Shake with fear. Now this word, never uh, shake. You are familiar with, with the word shake. Shake. It's, it's a regular or an irregular verb? It's an irregular uh, verb. It's an irregular verb, okay. of course. What's the past? Shook. Shook. Double O, one O. A double O. And the past participle? Shaken. Shaken. It reminds me of take as well. Yes, took, taken. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. And uh, already uh, there is only one answer left, uh, which is being self-confident and being courageous. Being self-confident and courageous or brave with E. I hope your answers are correct, but let's check. Okay. So, we begin with the first statement. Mm, I do love my country's good, with respect, more tender, more holy and profound. That's loving one's country, so well done. Could I you, may soon um, think about one word to replace the whole expression, loving one's country? Patriotic. Patriotism, exactly, being patriotic. Loving one's country, good start. Um, cowards die many times before their deaths, the valiant never taste of death but once, being brave and fearless, and that was what you said. Yes, of course. Well done. We are gentlemen that neither in our hearts nor outward eyes envy the great nor shall the low despise. You relied on your knowledge of the word envy mm. and despise and you said it's respecting all people and not being jealous of them. So, so far your answers are perfectly correct. correct. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Be noble for thine enemy rather in power than you. You said it's loving people and being prudent. So you love everybody, but you do not, yes, you should not trust, trust all, of them all of them blindly. Five, 
be to yourself as you would to your friend that's taking care of friendship and you said that you had some true friends actually there is a proverb it says make new friends and keep the old one is silver uh, the other is gold the other is gold six the silence often of pure innocence persuades when speaking fails and you said it's about speech is silver and silence is gold and you said we have got an equivalent one in our native uh, language seven this above all to thine own self be true and it must follow as the night the day thou canst not then be false to any man shakespearean typically shakespearean Shakespeare, english yes. soon. <laughs> but in spite of that you manage it to decode the statement and you said it goes with being frank and sincere you taught us how to guess from context so and you to manage it to and grasp and enable and us to understand this perfectly yes. well thanks to so you so i can sir. only applaud your performance eight the mind i sway by and the heart i bear shall never sag with doubt nor shake with fear that's being self-confident and courageous so zero mistakes when I you had the word zero, you panicked, but I said zero mistakes, so well done, <laughs> well done. Um, we are going to make a, s a small jump in terms of time or history, and we are going to see another writer or poet who spoke also about some of the ethical values and attitudes. So as you can see, this is a poem entitled If. It was written by the British Indian poet Rudyard Kipling, who lived between 1868 and 1936. Of course, um, the heading tells you about the title, which is if. But does if appear only in the title? So I can see that if appears in a there are of plenty many of lies. Ifs. It's through uh, the whole uh, poem, except yeah. uh, the last uh, lines, or okay. three last lines. So it is frequently used throughout the different parts of the poem. That's right. Um, do you have an idea what, what if expresses? If states a condition without which the result or the action of the main clause cannot be achieved. So oh. it states a condition that is important to achieve another action or another result. So if is used to express condition, you said, and this condition is important because without which a result cannot, cannot be achieved. Cannot be achieved, cannot be fulfilled. Okay, and in this poem, as you can see, we do not have just one condition. Many conditions. We have a lot of conditions. The whole so poem is... So it is uh, very hard to respect all these conditions. And as you did say, and you were right, whenever there is a condition or there are conditions, we expect to find... A result. A result of the condition. Um, in your opinion, where do you think the result appears? I think it's the last part of the poem, mainly the last two lines. Yes. Because uh, we have uh, your if, you can fill the unforgiven minute with 60 seconds worth distance run. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's part already of the conditional the condition. statements, the main clause it's the and last the condition. if clause. Yes. And uh, the last two lines, I think we have the result. So you have to achieve all the, you have to do all these. In order so to reach that in result. In order to reach uh, that result. Could you read the result, please? Uh, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. So do you have just one result or two? Two. What are they? Yours is the earth, so you'll be the owner. You'll uh, be the owner of the earth, of the, the earth. master of your own destiny and yes, the earth. Yes, have control on it. And the second Maybe. result? Yes. And which is more, you'll be a man. You will be a man. Capital M. Son. Capital M. To decorate the line? No, because uh, it's, it's, it doesn't refer to gender, male or oh, female. Okay. It Nothing refers to, to do the, with the biological being. meaning. Yes, to be a human being, a real human. So it's the moral meaning of manliness rather than yes, the biological is, one. Yes, of course. That's why it is capitalized. This means that you cannot be a man without respecting those all conditions. All these or without uh, maybe adopting all what these attitudes. What you are saying is logical, is sensible. Let's check. So if is used to express, it states a condition, as you said, without which the action or the result in the main clause cannot take place. So it's correct. Um, I asked you in which part of the poem the writer gives the result. And you said the last lines, the last, the last two lines, two lines in the last two lines of the poem. And you did explain that perfectly well. You notice that we started with the results. But I think it's also important to go through the conditions. So many you know, conditions, many conditions. So it's really a challenge. And you notice that even the poet kept saying, if you can, meaning that it's not easy or evident yes. that everyone or anyone can do it. 
Uh, I'm going to um, expose you to a table including two boxes. You notice that the first box on the left includes some of the quotation takes from the poem, and the second part includes uh, the attitudes uh, that the Perfect poet preaches. So you are going to complete this table with the missing expressions from uh, the bottom of the screen yes. to get either the attitude or um, the quotation. So in the box I have either uh, the attitude, attitude or, or the quotation and then they I should... Uh, okay, shall I start? Please do. The first one, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. Uh, trust in yourself is being self-confident. That's right. So I think uh, it's be self-confident. So being self-confident, let's see. Well done. Be patient. Mm, I think that's easy. Yes, let me check. Uh, the first one. Could you read it, please? If you can wait and not be tired of waiting. So waiting is a sign of patience. Yes. People who are impatient cannot bear it's, waiting. It's always difficult to wait yeah, for a long that's time. Right, that's uh, right. Especially nowadays, people at home, they are bored yeah, and they have they to are, wait. Uh, for exactly. And patience is important. So yes, be patient. That's right. It's a bless. Of course. So yes, it's correct. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting. What about number three? Don't look too good or too wise. Don't look too good, it means don't be um, arrogant. Okay. So you look for, yes, we have it. Don't be arrogant. It's already there. Be uh, modest, be humble. Don't be arrogant, be modest or humble, as you said. Well done. Accept a win or a loss. Exactly. Okay. Accepting a win or a loss. I think this goes with if you can meet with triumph and disaster, already triumph uh, means an achievement, a victory, so, so close success. Close to the word win. Winning or success. And disaster? Maybe failure here. Failure here, yes. Yeah, yeah. So Even if I believe yeah. that uh, failure is not a disaster, it's, it's not a disaster, yeah. it's never a disaster. Actually, maybe sometimes, sometimes failure uh, paves the way to That's right, to actually success. the word fail, F-A-I-L, it means first attempt in trying, so yes. you have to make many other attempts. So let's check. That's right, but I wonder why triumph begins with capital T and disaster begins with capital D. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know, but I can guess. You Please already uh, taught us that when uh, uh, words are, ca are capitalized, they may be personified. It means the writer is treating them like a person. That's right. So maybe uh, he's personifying them. Yeah, maybe he's personifying them. Well, actually, he is. This is a technique used in order to to uh, shed light or focus more on these uh, values or these words, triumph and disaster. What about five? If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you. Uh, do not ask me about foes. It's uh, a new word. Yeah, it's but a new word. Do not panic. Just look for its antonym somewhere in the same statement. Friends. Well done. So can so you guess now about the synonym of foes? Enemies. Excellent. Does so foes enemies? are enemies. Foes friends. is my pronunciation correct? Foes, the pronunciation is perfect. Okay. It's better than mine, actually. These are <laughs> never, <laughs> it's never better than yours. So um, uh, enemies and friends. That's right. Uh, already I'm left with two uh, alternatives. So I think be cool in any situation. Be cool in any situation. Let me see. Well done. So be better than others in every situation. You said if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtues, that shows some kind of self-confidence. Yeah, sometimes no it's not easy to is. face the crowd, especially yes, when people... Yes, it's apprehensive. Uh, yes, especially when, when the crowd is acting uh, unethically. That's when right. When we have a moral decline and you are the only one who is uh, so trying to, to be... Yes, to try to act uh, ethically, so it's sometimes difficult That's right. uh, That's to face right. the crowd. So this, it's good when you can... Uh, Talk with crowds and keep your virtues without being uh, affected by their... May soon your performance is impressive so far, although some of the activities have to do with Old English, but they are challenging and in spite of that you manage to deal well with them, to cope well with them, to overcome all sorts of difficulties. I can only be proud of you. Thank you, uh, sir. May soon, the examples we took from uh, the books of Shakespeare and from the poem of Kipling are just a few examples of ethics and ethical values and attitudes. Of course, there are other attitudes and values. We are going to see some of the ones already mentioned and we are going to see other ones in the following activity. So I would like you to provide the right form of the bracketed words and we begin with the first sense. Could you read it, please? Uh, yes. 
love your country and be devoted to it? Be devoted to it. We will see later. Uh, take care of your friends, friends. Friends, I okay, we friends. should take care of our friends. But if we want to, relay, uh, to uh, refer to the bond that we have with somebody and we, the relationship we have. Friendship. Then so it's friendship, friendship or friends. We'll but is it correct to say take care of friends? Definitely, totally so correct. So both possibilities I, want, I would like to go back to the first word, devoted, you said. Yes. Could you think about any equivalent to it? Committed. Committed. Dedicated. Double M, double T, double M, one T, one double M, double, M -double, double T. T. Double M, double, double T. T, well done. Committed, and you said? Uh, dedicated. Dedicated, two or four? Two. Two, okay, well done. Could I'm you read the next one? <laughs> exactly. Be patient, brave, and self-confident. And I think you have these three qualities. <laughs> what about the next one? Respect all people and never show jealousy. Jeal si. Jealousy, very good, jealousy. Now. And you mentioned a near equivalent to it a few minutes ago. Envy. Envy, exactly. Envious. Envious, the adjective. adjective. Next. That's easy. So uh, be, uh, we have truth and sincere. We have an adjective following parallel uh, structure rule. Good. It should be another Good. adjective. So it's truthful and sincere. So be truthful and sincere. We will see later. I'm Could you just read the next one? Yes. Just be wait. Better than other Remember that waiting is a sign of patience. Be better than others. Others, oh, there's a missing S. It fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for it <laughs> uh, in every situation. Good. Then. Don't be arrogant and selfish. Selfish. Still the same. Here we have an adjective and arrogant, another adjective. Arrogant, so we need another adjective. Yes. Selfish. Same form. It's parallel structure. So you need to... Uh, care for others as for yourself. Exactly. Be generous, helpful, and friendly. Helpful. helpful. Double L or one L? One L. One L. I know my questions are easy now. Do not ask for a bonus. Of course I will ask for a bonus. So uh, you deserve a bonus because you said you never... Cheat. Cheat. I've never cheated. <laughs> Next, please. Respect the rules of... Pay, fears, and taxes. I like the fact that you skip the word and read the I list. need to understand the context good. so that I can give a good. right. You know, it's not good when you just answer fast. Uh, sometimes you need to take uh, time to think, uh, try to understand the context. That's, so that's right. That's we make right. sure we have a correct answer. Uh, of, I think I need a noun. You do. Uh, it's not citizens. It's not like uh, take care of friends. It's yeah, cannot we be don't refer to people, citizens. do we? I will opt for the noun of the state of being a citizen. Yes. Uh, citizenship. Citizenship. It sounds correct. I told you about this ship suffix. Yes. We added two. Two nouns. To another noun to refer to the state. To the state of being something. That's right. That's right. Time is precious. You know or know how to use it sensibly. No, how to uh, use it sensibly. I'm sure about this one because it's how to use it, the manner, and to use it, the verb. So it needs an adverb. So you definitely need an adverb sensibly yes. that is reasonably? Yes. Okay. Good judgment. Okay. Could you read uh, the, the statement or Wisdom the saying? Wisdom is knowing what to do next. Virtue is doing it. Very good piece of advice, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Okay. And wisdom, uh, wisdom, is it related to... Sensible? Um, actually, yes. Um, there's a suffix here. Uh, is it? Uh, if you delete the suffix. I know the word wise. Exactly. So that's the noun. That is the noun. So wise and okay. sensible are very close. You are right. Good judgment. Yeah, you did very well and you judged it very well. Uh, let's check your answers. I feel that your answers are correct. So first word you said? Devoted. Devoted, no surprise. Second word. I said friends. You said friends. And then, and then I said friendship, but it and was I after said your I help. can tolerate either. And both are correct, thank you. Next word, you said? Jealousy. Jealousy, jealousy. Yes, it's correct. Then B. Truthful. Truthful, again, your answer is correct. Next. Selfish. Selfish. Loving oneself, caring only for oneself. That's a very bad thing to do. We have to care for others as we do for ourselves. And then? Uh, helpful. 
Be generous, and be help, helpful. helpful, one L as you said. Then I suggested citizenship for this one. Citizenship, and you gave me logical reason for that. You said it's the state of being a citizen or member in a society or a community. Even member has got the noun or the state noun, membership. So membership, yes. Same suffix. And, and it was sensibly for this one. Time is precious. Know how to use it sensibly or reasonably. Do you it's use wisely? Do you use? Are you using your time sensibly? Mason? I try. You I'm are trying, trying to. Yes. Now, uh, we have been uh, in this lockdown period for a long time. Uh, have you spent your time uh, doing constructive activities? Uh, I'm trying. Yes. I know. I know uh, you are. I try to take fond advantage of Facebooking. From. And we are friends on Facebook. That's why I'm asking you, because I noticed that many uh, students your age and younger or older spend uh, their time Facebooking, yeah, so surfing the net. Very active. I know. Well, uh, very active. It's, not, it's not wrong to be active on social media, but you should be doing something constructive and useful. Uh, the times that we are living now require a lot of activities and activism, all of us uh, have to play a role in raising awareness. Yes. So using your Facebook account can also be a tool or a weapon to raise awareness. Yes, already social media is used as a weapon to raise people awareness That's about right. so many different That's issues right. or topic. So Not all uh, of them, but so many people use it really to raise people awareness about different topics. That's right. So here comes your work, My since own. you are fond of Facebooking. So here is an activity that I will need to check or monitor, right? Could you just read the topic first? That's among the disadvantages <laughs> of being a friend with your teacher. So there's no uh, escape. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Do not block me. No, of yeah, course okay. not. So with the outbreak of novel coronavirus, COVID-19, you notice that many people are careless and indifferent towards physical distancing and are not respecting the rules of confinement. Others are emptying groceries and supermarkets, spreading fear and depriving the community members, especially needy ones, of vital supplies. You decided to share a Facebook post in which you highlight the moral values, attitude and good behavior to be adopted by people that would help limit the spread of the virus and ensure the well-being of everyone. So what are you supposed to write, Maison? A Facebook post. A Facebook post about what? Uh, about moral values and attitudes that we should adopt in these exceptional circumstances, uh, right. the, the spread or the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. Um, can you think about some of the ideas you might include in your Yes, some post? of the attitudes we have already seen together, That's uh, right. so like, like being patient. I think people should be patient. I know it's not easy to stay at home for a long time, but uh, it's the only way to keep uh, safe, to stay healthy and uh, to avoid the spread of the virus. Uh, so patience is important. Patience is very important, absolutely. Yes. Another uh, idea is being generous yes. and helpful. And give your students extra yes. marks. Uh, <laughs> it's not related to, uh, to the virus. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, stop being selfish, be generous, think of needy people who may need our help in these, uh, uh, these days or nowadays. Absolutely. So, you can donate money or you may provide certain vital supplies for needy people or maybe donate money to certain humanitarian associations that are already doing a great job to help uh, needy people. Right. Uh, another advice is I think we should not forget elderly or old people people that are vulnerable. That's a good piece of advice, yes. yes. Take uh, care of elderly people. And they are isolated and uh, they are vulnerable to the disease because of their age. So it's good if we remember them, if we can do certain shopping for them, uh, do whatever uh, lend them necessary, a hand. lend them a hand. And in that way, we make sure that they will not take the risk to go out to, to shop or whatever, especially that because of their age, they are more vulnerable to, That's right. to this uh, uh, virus. And I think there is another uh, advice that we have already seen, which is using time sensibly. Now, people have enough time, uh, a lot of free That's time. That's a good piece of advice. Yes, a lot know of free time. Know how to use your free time. Yes, and time is precious. So time is money. Uh, take advantage, time benefit of this time that you are spending with your families to do uh, something beneficial. That's right. So 
You these mentioned are, plenty of these are important, the, I, interesting ideas. Yes. Um, let's see whether the ones you mentioned will appear on the screen now or not. So these are some ideas which I meant to share with you. And I feel that most of them were mentioned, were already mentioned by you. So well done. Let's begin with the first idea. Could you read it? Be patient, everything will be all right. Yeah, very soon yes, very students soon. will go back to school. Yes, you will right. resume regular classroom studies in orderly conditions. So yeah, we, you I don't miss my students. You, you, know, you, you needn't worry so much. Exactly. So we'll see you soon in, in our classes. We say that the darkest hour is always before dawn. Second. Don't be selfish. Uh, I said it. You did. Yes, care for others and think of the needy people. Good, good. Number three. Be generous of and course, helpful. Of uh, course, sorry, caring for, uh, for needy people, especially in this holy month. Yes. So being generous and helpful as well. They go hand in hand, two and three. Of course, they're uh, Four. extremely related. Be an active citizen. Be responsible. Yes, I think by respecting yes. the lockdown measures, you exactly. show that you are a good and, and by raising awareness the way you are going citizen. to do in your, in yes. your writing. Then... Respect rules of confinement to protect yourself and others. It's so also related to being responsible exactly. and being an active citizen by respecting the uh, confinement rules and lockdown measures. Do not break, break the, the rules of measures, confinement and of lockdown course. measures. That's right. And physical and social distancing. Yes. Six. Care about your family, friends, countrymen. We need to care about we need others. To help yes, others. those people, especially family, friends, Our neighbors, friends, relatives. People uh, are close to us. Yes. Seven. Be creative, think of a new style of life, yes. Now like can, what? Uh, like reading, uh, watching movies, playing family games. That's right. Revising, maybe, uh, yeah. studying, so that's using time sensibly. Playing with uh, relatives, family members. Uh, family members. Yeah, especially yes, especially close relatives. Yes. Yes. Eight. Spend quality time with your family members, the same idea, same they go ideas. together. And we finish with and practice your practicing hobbies, your they hobbies. They are so. indoor hobbies, not outdoor hobbies. Exactly, so remember that they are indoor ones. Indoor so ones. do not leave your home until further yes. notice. Um, well, splendid. I think Actually, I have a lot of ideas now. I can, I can write it you easily can write it, and um, uh, we not escape right now. Right. No need to block. Uh, <laughs> so in, in a couple of days, maybe I can see your Hopefully, yes. I will do post. my best to write it as okay, soon as possible. Please tag me so that I can read it. Of course, I will, sir. So, thank you very much, our dear students. Thank you for watching us. Hope you have liked this uh, session and hope to see you in the next session. So, thank you for watching and goodbye. goodbye.